If you have an email list, you want to get as many subscribers as you can. But how exactly do you get those subscribers? Well, one of the most powerful ways to get those subscribers is to create a bunch of landing pages. And what I mean by that is when you feel comfortable, you feel like you have enough landing pages, create more of them. I will go into detail within this video. So if you're like most people who create a landing page, you create a landing page, maybe two, maybe three, and then you feel like you're done because you have landing pages for your different products, you have autoresponders set up, so you feel like you've done good with a few landing pages. Well, the thing is you want to have as many landing pages as possible because that gives the people in your audience as many opportunities as possible to subscribe and enter their information. And as you get more landing pages, you will also touch upon more areas within your niche. If you have an Instagram guidebook, a Facebook guidebook, and a Twitter guidebook, you are going to attract people who are interested in all three of those things. If you only have the Twitter guidebook up, and the people who are interested in Instagram but don't want to hear much about Twitter, they are not going to sign up because the giveaway or the free prize that you are giving people as an incentive to enter their email address does not appeal to them. So creating more landing pages will create that sense of appeal for a wide variety of people within your niche. I was really turned on to the idea of creating more landing pages based on a webinar that I watched the replay for done by Nick Stevenson. I was a part of his launch for your first 10K readers, which is a training course that shows people how to get their first 10,000 readers for their Kindle books. So he went into detail the numbers about which landing pages converted the most, the percentage of opt-ins that he got from those landing pages. So the first two landing pages got most of the opt-ins. That's what you would expect. But what was unexpected was that all the other landing pages he created that were all related to the launch ended up getting half of his opt-ins. Now, these were a bunch of different landing pages that got just as many opt-ins as two landing pages, but these landing pages were based on free offers that were already made. So, for instance, in an autoresponder, you could have one value video, a second value video, and a third value video. Well, what Nick Stevenson was doing was he was creating a landing page for each of those value videos in order to get more leads. So if you have an autoresponder set up right now and you're giving free stuff out, free exclusive content within the autoresponder, you could be making landing pages for each of those exclusive pieces of content that you are providing already within the autoresponder. These are simple, easy to make landing pages that if you have a string of them together, can, as in the case of Nick Stevenson, double the amount of subscribers that you get from this landing page promotion. And the really cool thing about offering all these landing pages and having them target people with a wide variety of interests is that it becomes easier to segment your lists. If you have a Twitter guidebook, a Facebook guidebook, and an Instagram guidebook, you are able to know which people on your list are interested in Twitter stuff, who's interested in Facebook articles, and who's interested in Instagram videos. So with this knowledge, you can create email blasts that are segmented and specifically geared towards those people. And the reason you would want to do that is because with a segmented email blast, everything is better. You get less unsubscribers, you get more click-throughs, more engagement. So basically, all the things that you want as an email marketer get increased or decreased in the case of unsubscribers if you are able to segment those email blasts. And that's easy to do if you have all these landing pages set up based on different areas within your niche and it's easier for you to provide the value that people are looking for and it's easier for you to create that engagement around your content. If you have any questions or want me to talk about something specific within one of my upcoming YouTube videos, then post that in the comments section below. I make it a point to go through the comments and engage with your comments and also get ideas from you as well. 
And I would appreciate it if you could leave a like or a dislike for my video just so I can see how I'm doing with my YouTube channel and which videos I need to be focusing on the most. And finally, if you are hungry for retweets, then I have the perfect free ebook for you, 27 Ways to Get More Retweets on Twitter. The link is in the description. So signing off, that is all for this video. I hope it has served you. And what I want you to do is to dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today.